Hey, was that? Yeah, that was the king. But why did he look a little different? Because it's a different version of the king. Oh my god, Donald, what's wrong with your voice? Lecker's talking, Helen's all off-brand. That version was the public domain version of the king. Oh, <laughs> yeah. What does that mean? Well, according to copyright law in the U.S., copyright has expired for all works made in the United States prior to 1926. If the publication date is before January 1st, 1926, and the work is in the public domain. Thanks, University of Pittsburgh. <laughs> so now, that specific version of the king is available to everyone. Show him I, but nobody cares. So Disney no longer owns the king? Not that one specifically. The one used in most modern promotional material is still under the Walt Disney Company. So what happens to this one? Whatever people want! Now, the character is no longer under the thumb of creative oversight that can stifle artistic freedom. Like how Sherlock Holmes or King Arthur can be used. Well, that's good, right? I absolutely. Well, that's where the other side of the double-edged keyblade comes in. Uh oh See? Because this is a children's IP, the creative freedoms allow people to make as dark an adaptation as they want with the character. Like with your friend Winnie the Pooh. It's an Azlarts paradise. Oh no! Bambi's on that list too. You're summon? Oh, sorry, I never use those. So, as you can see, this has pros and cons. Can we do anything about it? Why am I talking like it's an after school special? The best course of action is talking with your money pouch. Huh? If people refuse to go see dark, cheapo versions of beloved children's characters just for the sake of it, the studios stop making them. No more money means no more nurses. Really just not even trying with the original voice, are we? So, Goofy, where did you learn all about U.S. copyright law? Oh, well, I'm subscribed to the new... <laughs>